what um, what year? Do you know what year this building was built? 1922. 1922. And there was a cornerstone right in the end of the building that shows that. Has that. that. And then we have people that had were. It was a trading post at that time. So people came in. They would buy groceries. Um, do their jewelry and so it's been a lot of things it's been a lot of things actually there was a staircase right here that went underneath you know oh, to yeah. to where they were building and and there's even a, but anyway let me show you the picture This is an old picture, uh, 19 wow. whatever, of what the building actually looked like. Wow, look at the car. <laughs> See, it was back in the 1920s, mm -hmm. and this is when it was first built, and it was a trading post where people would come and buy groceries, trade, yeah. pawn, whatever. Okay. Very cool. Thank you. So. And underneath and you said, the You said this was once even a jail and that city yes. hall was yes. held here for a while. Yes. She just wanted to see if she could get in that underneath and just like... Ah, uh, it's outside in Paul. And, and I can't find who's gone. Okay. So we just need a flashlight and we can go under there. But What's down there? Well, there used to be a staircase that led down there. Mm -hmm. And that's where... All the people, they had people building jewelry. Oh, really? Yeah, they used to be places down there they would build jewelry from, and they had it all downstairs. So, I mean, I can show you, but it's pretty much just dirt okay. now. <laughs> well, she wants to go down there. So, I want to go. I mean, I, I want to go. Show you okay. where. Is that out here? Someone go with to take a picture. Is that um, that area that you open yeah. up on the ground? You got right. flashlights, yeah. right? Yeah. No, flashlights. Because we have to open this door. Okay. Oh, I can't. I'll grab it. But. It's under here. But that's where they had all these people and they had um, stations nice. where they were building jewelry. Yeah, that's what I was get. And but it's really dark. <laughs> there you go. There. Okay, if you can just pull that up for me because it's heavy. Okay, good. Oh god. Yeah. You just gotta really pull it. Alright, here Mike, hold on to this. Nice. Yeah, get... Ready? Yeah, you pull it. Right there you go. And then oh, you the, this one. Ooh, you can't get you sure it. you want to go down there, Keith? No, you can get down there, but it's... I'm not going to climb down there. <laughs> it's oh, flooded a couple of times where we had to... Pshht. And, but this is where they used to build jewelry down here. And there was a staircase that led up to the main thing. But, you know, this is all rock mud construction, yeah. the building. And you can see here, it was built in 1922, and we have a cornerstone with HS Scorzio. And that's the cornerstone of the building. And I actually have a picture that people replicated through the years of what it looked like back then. Oh, really? It's in my main office. Yeah. yeah. 
so I don't know if she wants to go down. No. I've been down there. And it looks a little. Bit. It's a little musty. Uh, yeah, for a couple years at a time. They, the Indian uh, jewelry business was so big and so busy. This is about a foot of soot in here. Bottom of this, there's a cement floor on the bottom of all of this. This was the basement for the theater back in the day. Really? Yes. I'll show you these old theater. A row of theater seats are still down here. Just duck your head when you walk, big guy. <laughs> yep. Might work or not. I lost that. Just now. I haven't tried nothing down here in a long time. Oh, I'll have to buy one to put on there. Right. Oh, dang, I, I heard my glasses crack. Nope. There's probably a fuse up on top. Watch your head, watch your head. You gotta duck down. Okay. Keep here. I've already lost one of the things on my glasses. Yeah, you, gotta, you, you, know. watch, you, duck, you gotta duck your head through the whole thing yeah, here. I hit him when I came down. When did you drink? Yeah, it's rubbing, cutting in my nose. Why does that shine like that? Is that salt? Soot. Soot. Look, there's a ball. They're messed up now. Yeah. Here, I'll show you these theater seats real quick. Down. Yeah, just keep your head down. They knew what they were doing. This is all flagstone. Yeah. 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 They knew what they were doing. Yeah. Imagine yeah. next to a railroad plus now all the semis and this building is still yeah. standing. Look at these old theater. There's a hole there. Look at the theater chairs. Yep. Yeah. This was a theater. This was Holbrook's first theater, actually. Oh. Yeah. There's the old rolls here and they were so small and uncomfortable. You can't about, get up to these stairs anymore? No, that we blocked that off. That's how they used to come down through here and check on the on the silversmiths and working and stuff and and uh, the, this was the basement for the theater back in the day. This is cool. About twenty years ago a European came over here. And he was walking around looking at the building and I asked him, Can I help you? He knew more about this building than I did. He taught me more. Hmm. He had written proof somehow. This was the first theater and these rows, this this type of theater chair mm -hmm. was made small and uncomfortable on purpose. Really? And I said, why? He says, because they wanted to get them in and out quick. They make more money. The chairs were uncomfortable on purpose. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want you to hang out. No, they didn't want you to stay for the next movie. He said they wanted them to get up and get out. And that makes sense. Why don't you take this bottle upstairs? I, there's a lot of things that I don't do down here. I just <laughs> sometimes I, I do, know. sometimes I don't. I don't know. My wife loves old bottles. If she's seen it, she'd grab it. Don't come down here too often. Don't come down here too often. There's a that that guy from Europe. He told me this little short chair over here. See this old wooden, yeah, this little wooden chair over here with no legs. He cut the legs off. And uh, the historian guy, he told me, he says, that was the uh, cameraman's chair. And I says, how oh, do you know? He, he said, how do you to run the projector? Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, how do you know that? He said, because he would cut them off and so it would sit down low enough and he can peek through the hole, through the wall. <laughs> he says, and that's how I did it. Yeah, I'd watch it for free in them days. So the cameraman had the short chair so he could look through the people. He knew a lot of history about this. Right. Stay with John and I want to try to do a recording. This was a, it was a makeshift jail for a sitting I, bull. On I gotta get out of here. This is killing my back walking like this here. Down here. I don't know if it's down here, but the building. Oh, the building. Yeah, the building. Back, back in the day, before it was this big, it was a smaller building. The train stopped for, um, for water. And Sitting Bull was on his way to the Yuma Territorial Prison, and he stayed in this building somewhere. It was probably a lot smaller. Almost 100 years old. This building? In 2022, it'll be 100 years old. Mm -hmm. Just watch your head everywhere, guys. Make sure you duck. There, she's doing that session. You have any more information about this place? 
Mm, like, well, it was a laundromat uh, years ago on the other side of the building. Um, it was a candy store. It was a ice cream parlor. It was a makeshift jail. It was a, a saloon at one time. I had a, I had a lady cleanse the building and she found a spirit from a child that was born, said, she says, in the early 30s in a bathroom somewhere in this building and she just helped it and helped it move on from what she told me. And I've had two cleansings. I've had two cleansings in the building. And, uh, what are you going to need another one? Probably. <laughs> yeah. It's head? interesting though. I, 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 I like old buildings. Watch your head. Watch your I head. Watch your head again right here. I love old buildings. They got character. They got stories. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of stories. Yeah, watch right here. Yeah. This little wire thing. Trip somebody out. I loved old stories to some of these. There were some, uh, my dad knew some real old, old cowboys because my, my stepdad was uh, born on the Milky Way Ranch out here in the 20s. They, his family, the Paul Sell family, owned the Milky Way Ranch. And um, yeah, he says he remembers riding in on horseback to this yeah. little store that here. Bulb. Look at that bulb. And he ended up owning it. Wow. Yeah. Those old uh, R12 Freon bottles. There's yeah. a things buried in the, the walls. Yeah, there is. There's a lot of stuff in there these is. walls. There is. There's things I know. buried in the walls. Yeah, yeah. We And the cornerstone, I don't know. We don't know what's in the cornerstone yet. We were going to put a little drill in the cornerstone to see from the back side, but we haven't. Cornerstone, what is that? The cornerstone is where the family supposedly put their treasure. Oh. Like a silver or a gold well, that's or what I was in their buildings. Yeah, yeah. Buried in the wall. Yeah, there's. Not saying where. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there is. There is. This is a neat old building. It's just been here for so long. There's a couple of old pictures up top that. Uh, of the building? Horse and Buggy Day and, uh, and like the 50s or 60s, if you guys have found them. You got know. it, Hunter? Yep. Oh, it's pretty solid now, right there. But just yeah, put your foot on that ladder. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. Perfect. You're almost there. Once we got back topside, We listened to the audio that Liz had recorded down there in that dusty old dirt floored basement of J&J's trading post. We listened to it and we heard what was captured on there. It was, well, pretty astounding. Now, I haven't been able to find any historical documentation, any verification, any proof that said that Sitting Bull was ever in Holbrook or that he was transferred to Yuma Territorial Prison. I haven't been able to find that. It, it, may be, it may have been factual, but I just haven't found anything to substantiate that. But we did get something pretty astounding on the audio. So we decided to go up and play it, sit at the table and play it for everybody, for the owners and for the rest of the team.